welcome everyone my name is Rahul Fatak in this video we are going to see how you can create users and assign them job roles uh, in Oracle Cloud okay so I have logged in this is my login page which is also called a springboard to create a user you will need to go through tools and security console but directly and cl click create a user from here but if you're creating employees you will need to go through a manage users function okay so for that I need to go to setup and maintenance and change it and look for a function called manage users okay there you go and then it's selected here so just go into the manage users And then last name is Doe and first name is let's say Mike. Okay, I'm going to create a username called Mike dot D O E. Person type is employee. His legal employer is the legal entity he works for, which is US one US one. And then his business unit is I'll just type in here, which will reduce the choices. So he works for US on business unit. If he is a sales manager or sales administrator, you can give him the resource the resource roles directly through this menu. We are not going to do that in case. So I'm going to say Mike dot DOE at dummy email dot com. And that's what you require basically. Okay. So I'll say click save and close. It's saved click on done so now we need to go to the security console so you can go to the security console through here tool security consoles or you can click on the navigator click on more <clears throat> and then you can under tools you can see security console the same menu so let's go there and let's look for our user called Mike Doe there is okay so this is the user directly created through the manage user functionality also you can come here and if you just come to tool security console you can add a user account directly you need not go through the manage user process this is done only when you are creating users for like your implementation partners okay so they are really not employees they are not personnel but you want them to uh, do certain set of functions or test applications so you can come here directly and create users in that case okay they need not be any personnel or any employees of your organization so let's go back to Mike Doe click on edit so now what we are going to do is grant him certain job roles okay and then uh, let's reset his password as well while we are there. So I'm going to manually change the password call and just say, welcome one, two, three. And just say reset password. Okay. And then let's give him some roles. So let's assume that he works in the accounts payable department. and then accounts payable manager for US one business unit okay add role membership he's also let's give him one more role I think it's called accounts payable specialist okay let's add that and also accounts payable supervisor Our role membership and we we also said he's a general accountant all right and then we want to give him access to 
the US primary ledger and let's give a role called financial analyst okay but in this case we're just going to give him this role which is not tied to any ledger or a business unit so let's do that this is a certain nuance you can just follow okay so we have made him a general accountant and accounts payable guy and also we are given a role called financial analyst but that role is just given without associating to a primary ledger i just want to show you what's the difference so i say save and close so all the roles are granted we have reset his password and we have given certain roles click on done okay so now for that financial analyst role if it's not tied to any business unit or ledger you will need to follow one more step you will need to go to setup and maintenance okay and then go to financials as i told you setup and maintenance is the place where you do all the application setups so what we're looking for is manage data access for users remember that role financial analyst did not have any data access like the us one business unit or primary ledger okay so while we are here this is a good segue so in cloud okay so when you create users and then give data roles or job roles okay in cloud it works this way so you create a user and then you give him roles okay the roles enable him to do certain job functions okay and the data access set enables him to do those job functions on a certain data set or limit his ability to do job functions for a particular legal entity or a particular data access set so job role defines what he what he can do and data access defines on what data he can perform his job role okay so i'm i'm in this menu i'm just click on plus sign and it was mike dot do i believe yeah and i go and see financial analyst i give him data access set on us primary ledger okay so now his role of financial analyst can only work on us primary ledger let's do one more time mike dot do let's go top down financial analyst accounts payable specialist and what we are restricting his accounts payable specialist role to only us one business unit okay if we don't do that he will not be able even though he has role he will not be able to do his job functions because he does not have any data access so save and close okay that's what is required for the user creation so i'll log out and let's test our new user and i'm going to log in as mike dot do i believe i said his password okay mike do is in and as you see we just gave him general accounting and accounts payable so this is general accounting menu general accounting menu you can do your journals and all the general activity let's click on journals and if you see on this area he has access to us primary ledger let's go back to the home page of mike and what we're looking at is accounts payable so this is accounts payable menu this is payables dashboard and if you can see he can create invoices only for us one business and this is your uh, menu for accounts payable so if i click on invoices you can do all this all these functions but he can only do these functions for us one business unit because we have assigned that access so that's all guys for this video where i showed you how to create user and assign them roles in oracle cloud in the upcoming videos i'll be creating more videos on certain functions like uh, how to um, do general ledger accounts payables receivables so stay tuned and we'll talk soon thanks bye bye